as much as I love my van, there are times that a girl just needs a little more oomph. And today is one of those days. Let's see what we've got in Brutus today. All kinds of stuff. Well, food, of course, but crowbar, shovel, uh, jack, extension cords, all sorts of saws, fire extinguisher just in case because you never know. And in the back we have all sorts of cement blocks and pieces of wood and stands and another jack. So we should be able to get done a whole bunch of work today. Hop on in and come along for the ride. Oh yeah, there's not room for you. You might have to ride on the roof or in the back. <laughs> Job number one today is going to be moving the cement blocks and bricks and such out of the bed of the truck so I have a place to put everything that I'm taking off the boat. So we're going to clear out the truck bed first. <music> There goes Frank. He had come down to visit with me a little bit and remind me that he has an extension cord that I can use anytime I want. That it's already plugged in and I'll just need a little bitty one to get the rest of the way. So I don't really need one right now, but that was very sweet of him to come down and remind me of that. He is heading to church. Next, we're going to take this built-in bed apart. that built-in gone this seems a lot more spacious in here I'm going to eventually put a sofa bed over there so that I'll be making the most use of my space it could be a bedroom and a living room on this end might be a little tough to find one that's the right dimensions and if I can't I will make one but that is the plan so next I'm going to tackle this hole in the ceiling. Might as well just rip the whole ceiling down and see what the structure is like up top. In an effort to keep potentially hazardous particles out of my eyes and lungs, I have donned my safety goggles and my mask. And now we're going to rip out the ceiling, or at least this part of it. plywood is really pretty nice on this part. I might try to salvage part of that. Nothing to salvage on this end. Well, I tried to get some of the trim down without breaking it, and 
and I need to have my smaller crowbar, which I do not have with me today. So we're going to go a different route and see what I can get done with the sawzall. I will lose about an inch of the plywood, but I should be able to save some of the trim. for a while and it looks like it's about to go so let's give it a tug and see what happens where the problem is. Looks like the plywood is horribly rotten. All the way up to here. And so these supports have nothing to hold on to. So they aren't being very supportive now, are they? Well, I have learned that the head of this shovel makes a really good pry bar. Actually a better one for this job than my actual crowbar or the crowbar end of the hammer. So that's how I got all that down was with my military shovel. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. Like so. Since the blade of it is so thin, it fits in there better than the crowbar or the hammer. And I didn't even break the piece of trim, so that's pretty cool. Well, Frank got back from church and he came down to check on me, make sure I was okay, and make sure I knew that if I needed to go to the bathroom, I could come in the house. So we got to talking about his house, and he said that it was built in 1842, and at that time came with 600 acres. He and his wife bought it in 1969 for $11,500. At that point, it came with 10 acres, and it still has that amount today. They didn't sell any off. He said he was a truck driver from the time he was 18 until the time he was 75. And then after he retired from that company, he hauled the grain and stuff for a local farmer until he was 80. I told Frank it's time that he got some rest. He said, oh, I am resting. <laughs> well, it's getting dark and I'm gonna have to go, but I wanted to show you, this is some of the stuff that was in the bathroom, a bunch of cushions that will not be usable, but I can at least get some color ideas from them if I so choose. That big old vinyl thing with stuffing that had come out was in there. And these windows were in there. I was able to see what is in the bathroom after I pulled out most of the stuff. Now there's still a lot of crud in here. And another piece of ceiling that I'm going to need to address. But anyway, you can see more of the actual bathroom than you could before. There's still a lot of crud in here, stuffing and stuff, but there is a medicine cabinet and there is a toilet. I do not see evidence of a sink or shower, but it's going to have those things by the time I'm done with it. So I'm going to load up the truck and call this a wrap. Well, it is now pitch dark, but I got the truck loaded and 
wanted to show you what progress looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and probably not unload until tomorrow. It is late and I am tired. So uh, thank you for tagging along and see you next time.